Roblox games based on real tragedies. I'm sure a lot of us are familiar with the real events such as the Titanic crashing and sinking, and most recently the submarine that was crushed miles down below in the open seas. The reason why I bring these tragedies up is because people have actually made games based off of a lot of different horrific events, thousands of which have been banned for good reason, but I'm going to take a look at different Roblox games based on real tragedies. It is probably going to be very controversial, but I wanted to see what was out there on Roblox. So let's begin. So probably like the most popular game based on a tragedy is the Titanic. And uh, I'm actually surprised at how detailed this game is. There's currently 800 players playing right now. And uh, yeah, the Titanic is actually based on a real event. The Titanic was known as being an unsinkable ship specifically designed for the long journey to America with no possible chance of sinking. And uh, yeah, during its first voyage, it did end up sinking. Uh, the ship crew ignored warnings of icebergs in their path and went onward. The ship hit an iceberg and then ended up causing 1,500 casualties. So uh, yeah, this company made a game based off it. So uh, let's join it then. All right, we're about to hit the iceberg. No, wait, was it really that big? Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this is uh, this is going to be bad. Uh-oh. Oh, we're really trying to steer the ship away. But I think, uh, I think it's too late now. Uh-oh. Oh, cool. it's like kind of scary, actually. Oh, jeez. So yeah, that crash actually caused the entire ship to sink, which is insane, actually. It took two hours and 40 minutes for the entire Titanic to sink. Wow, that's a lot, actually. Yeah, this is how it looked like in the inside, where it was just slowly pouring in water and started making it more and more sink to the sides. Oh, no, the Titanic's tipping. Uh-oh. Oh, this is bad. Well, friends, it was nice knowing you. Yeah, also, uh, facts about this song is that the musicians actually did play this song as it was sinking to kind of like raise the spirits of people who are scared and all that. It's actually uh, pretty terrifying, but also like wholesome in a way as well. Wait, I don't remember this in the Titanic. Ah, what was that? Well, this is the end. No, please, someone save me. <laughs> it's too cold. <laughs> We survived. Hey, uh, do I pick up this guy over here? Ow! So, yeah, the game also shows how the Titanic could have looked like underwater. Um, yeah, to this day, in real life, the Titanic ship is still underwater. But, uh, the real life underwater pictures are even more creepy looking. A lot of people seem to think that the Titanic is, like, haunted or something like that. Uh, this also stems from the sister ship crashing, which is known as the Britannic Tragedy. Funny enough, this game is also on Roblox. What's with all these tragedies being on Roblox? This one was also creepy because the way that this one crashed was due to to a naval mine being in the open seas, and this caused 30 casualties. But now we move on to probably one of the scarier simulators that I've ever seen, and it's this one right here. It's a game based off of the destruction of Pompeii. Um, so for those of you who don't know, many years ago, we're talking about 79 AD, there was a huge volcanic eruption that slowly went off and just started destroying the entire city of Pompeii. Yeah, this is like a full-length animation of the destruction of Pompeii. Okay, this is 8 p.m. where like everything's now fully destroyed people were pretty much just stuck there oh geez what's happening here and yeah so there's a whole roblox game based off of this so uh let's join it all right so here's the game uh it looks pretty normal so far it's like a nice little city it's got a stadium over there as well and uh yeah here's the volcano right here it hasn't erupted yet so uh we'll just wait and see what happens the excavated city offers a unique snapshot of roman life frozen at the moment it was buried which yeah that's crazy wait so how many casualties were there in this tragedy the eruption of vesuvius okay yeah that's the name of the volcano. Oh, oh, it's starting, it's starting. Uh-oh. Ooh, this is scary. Okay. So the eruption lasted for two days. The first phase was a pumice rain, which lasted about 18 hours, allowing most inhabitants to escape. Okay, so some did escape, but there were still 1,150 casualties in there, at least that we know so far that have been found on the site. Oh, here it goes, here it goes. Oh, wow, that's, that's really loud. August 24th, 79 AD. Mount Vesuvius roars back to life. Ooh, I'm scared. I should, like, move back over here. Oh, oh, wow, that, uh... That got very dark very quick. Yeah, so even though it was daytime, the smoke covered up the entire sky and made it look extremely dark. And then very slowly, ashes... Oh, jeez, <laughs> that scared me. That yeah, ashes just started falling down from the sky. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh jeez. This is like actually pretty scary. Oh no, I like can't even see anymore. Uh oh. Oh jeez. 
Vesuvius' magma chamber has collapsed. Uh-oh. A pyroclastic surge has been triggered. The cloud of toxic burning gas incinerates everyone and everything in its path. Okay, yeah, so this is actually what happened. Okay, yeah, there you go. There's all the magma pouring down to the city. So for those people who weren't able to escape, the magma and ashes got to them, and a whole plaster was formed over them. And to this day, you can actually see this, like, mold of, like, the people in their last moments. Oh, I can't even see anymore. Yeah, the lava got to my character, too. So this next one is the tragedy of the Bentaro train in 1987. So let's just play the game and I'll show you what it's about. So the, yeah, this tragedy is about how multiple human errors cause for two trains to collapse head on. So yeah, as you can see there, there's one train going to the right. And over here, there's another train going head on as well. This is the unfortunate part where they did collide. And it did cause a couple of casualties. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even know about this tragedy until I looked it up on Roblox. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. <laughs> is it moving? So yeah, what happened was that a station master permitted for a train to leave the station without checking the railway condition. Meanwhile, another station master ordered an engineer to move his train to the first lane. The orders were misinterpreted by the engineer as a go-ahead to continue the journey. The two crowded trains collided head-on, causing a telescoping effect. Oh geez. Yeah, there was 139 casualties, while hundreds more were injured. Yeah, these were both passenger trains as well, so it was like a lot of people in there. Um, so I looked up Bentaro train crash and uh i saw this like minecraft animation of the train as well i don't know why this is like actually a thing but uh but uh yeah okay so here's a collision again I mean, yeah, that's pretty much what kind of happened with the train. Another tragedy, and this one's actually pretty recent, is a submersible. It's a submarine this past year that went down to go see the Titanic, and there's just a lot of red flags all around, and it caused five casualties. And of course, there's a lot of Roblox games made because of this incident. Um, and Flamingo here actually went to go look at some of them. Titan submersible that killed five people a few days ago. Uh, this was an actual item pretty much the day after it was announced. Yeah, and also there's UGC items made because of the incident as well, which is just horrible. And yeah, a lot of submarine games being made because of this. Titanic submarine simulation. Titanic submarine lost role. Yeah, and that's just the exact image of the submarine as well. So yeah, a lot of these games were thankfully deleted. But uh, I did find this one right here. Submersible V.3. Rediscover the unsinkable. Oh, jeez. Just a silly game I'm making. Feel free to explore. This game does not recreate the recent tragedy of a submersible. Do not talk about real world. Okay. Bye. Well, uh, let's join that and see for ourselves then. All right. So here's the game. It looks, uh, I mean, it looks pretty exact, to be honest. Don't worry, this submersible is safer than the old Ocean Gate one. You won't get crushed, I think. Wow, okay, just making, uh, some humor about it. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Oh, jeez, I don't like this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, for those of you who don't know, I'm, like, actually, like, kind of scared of the ocean and all that. Especially, like, going down below. So, this is, uh, this is making me nervous, actually. Ooh, I don't like this. Oh, what's this question mark here? Adonis is freak. Oh, this is an Adonis script. Can I do, like, the clown jump scare thing? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, it's got the thing on here. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna explore this one any further. It gets me queasy. So for those of you who don't know what happened to the submersible, it pretty much imploded. And there's this animation here of what the implosion could have looked like. And yeah, this like all happens within less than a second, actually, which is like insane. Ooh, I'm uh, I'm leaving this now. Don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.